Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Omanos and today I will review the debut album by the pop rock slash alternative rock band The Counting Crows with their album August and Everything After. This is requested by Pawn Hearts who just requested it. I don't think he's a fan of them. I'm not sure. I don't really care either way so I'm not sure why I brought it up but there you go. Um, the album produced four singles, there are 11 songs on it, it came out in 1993, so it came out in the, pretty much at the peak of the grunge era, with, uh, you know, Nirvana of course, Pearl Jam, Edison Chain Soundgarden, some other bands around that, you got In Utero, uh, you got Versus, yeah, yeah, you got Verge by Pearl Jam. Um, now I won't say, you got Jar of Flies by Edison Chain, but it was a year after. Yeah, and Soundgarden didn't release an album either. That was also 94, so. Uh, yeah, Grunge was pretty big at that time. Uh, you got two of the biggest Grunge albums or two of the biggest grunge bands releasing grunge albums in that year. Yeah, and Alternative Rock was pre pretty banging at that point. Uh, Radio put, put it out their first album, Pablo Honey, which was of course, you know, not the best thing ever, but they, it only got better from there. Um, and the Kind of Crows was putting out their debut album in September, September 14, 1993. Uh, the big hit of this album is Mr. Jones, which I heard before, I was kind of like, oh, do I know this band, should I listen to one of their songs? Listen to Mr. Jones and I was kind of like, eh, I don't really care for this band, honestly. So I'm basically reviewing this to say, um, yeah, probably no more Counting Crows for me after this. Um, not because they're a bad band or anything, because they are pretty good and I'm probably gonna turn on live because you probably can't see me. Some professional shit going on right now. Does it better? Um, yeah, so debut album, like I said, wasn't really impressed by Mr. Jones, the, the lead single of the album. Didn't really do for me, honestly. Uh, we got Round here, the first track, which was the second single of the album. Um, this track, personally, it started out okay. It was pretty decent for what it was. But it really didn't leave a lasting impression on me. It just kind of began. Uh, you know, pretty basic folk pop rock tune to me. It's it's not really that interesting, honestly, this whole album. So I wasn't just really impressed in general. Um, yeah, o o Omaha didn't do anything for me. Uh, Perfect Blue Buildings. I do kind of like the, uh, you know, the beginning. Uh, the beginning bit where it's just like acoustic, it's st strummed down, it sounds pretty. But then, you know, this whole, my whole problem with this album and, you know, specifically Counting Crows, I like the instruments, I like the band musically, they sound okay, it's kind of bland, honestly, it's just kind of safe sounding to me, but then that voice comes in and it just ruins the whole fucking thing for me. It's not as bad as, let's say, an Axl Rose or a Billy Corgan. You know, where the music is pretty good, but the voices just got awful, like those people. It's not that bad, but the singer really throws me off. I'm like trying to get in a vibe into this record, and then that fucking voice comes in, and it just ruins the whole thing for me. So, Perfect Blue Buildings is a perfectly fine uh, folk pop tune, but... I just hate the vocals, especially later on where it's, uh, I believe he's screaming the, the lyrics. I was just kind of like getting into the song and then he fucking screams. I'm just like, yeah, I'm out of here. 
Uh, I'm not sure if he did that on Permanent Blue Buildings, but he does that throughout the album, which bugs the hell out of me. Um, yeah, I don't remember Anna Begins. Uh, just kind of a just sappy kind of love song. I, I just didn't really care about it. Uh, time and time again, yeah, I believe this song really annoyed me because um, you know musically start out, starts out alright, but then he goes into time and time, he, you know, time and time again. It's it's just really annoying. The vocals are really um, just very inconsistent to listen to in general, and yeah, musically it just doesn't spark me. It just doesn't vibe with me. I suppose it's just. This whole album just doesn't do anything for me. It's 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 kind of like Counting Crows is kind of like a pretty girl in a way, where you think, oh, uh, you look nice, so you got you approach the girl, the band in this case, and you go talk to her, and you think, oh, this is gonna be a lovely woman because oh, she looks gorgeous, and they actually speak to her, and you're like, oh, how are you doing? Uh, you know, you look uh, you look pretty. Uh, do you want to go out or something? It goes like that, and then she opens her mouth and she goes like, uh, duh, I'm gonna go out on uh, girls' night. Oh, it's um, girls' night. Uh, you know, she talks like gossip like that, like a diva or something. It's kind of a you know, it's kind of uh, half-assed uh, acting by me, especially the girl part, because what do I know? But um, what I'm trying to say with that, this band looks pretty on the surface, but when you actually listen to the music, or when actually that voice kicks in especially, then it just ruins the whole contrast for me. So nice on the outside, but when you actually scope into their material, it's pretty ugly, in my opinion at least. Um, yeah, ranking bugged the hell out of me, kind of the same like time and time again. It has a pretty melody at the beginning, and then I, I believe he's yeah. I believe this is the song where he like screams at the ending, and it just bugs the hell out of me. It just fucking annoys me. Uh, the ex um, one of the only songs that I actually really love was Sullivan Street because he didn't scream on this song. He had an acoustic part right there, very pretty. I believe there was a piano in there too, maybe on Ghost Rain. Um, this was just very pleasant to listen to. This this track is just very calm. It's just very pretty. This is a good track. I, I like the acoustics. I like. I believe there was a bit piano in there. The vocals were actually not god awful. They were tolerable. So uh, Sullivan Street is all right in my alley. No pun intended. Um, then we have Ghost Train, which is kind of middle of the road for me. Tado is cool, cool, so I thought, oh, might as well check it out, right? Well, check that whole album, but there you go. Um, but that's besides the point. A Ghost Train is, yeah, it's kind of like the same like any other song. Uh, I do like it more because it's a bit more ominous. It's a bit more mysterious to listen to. It's a bit more interesting lyrical-wise. But I saw that the vocals still, you know, they still haven't improved yet and they're still really whiny sounding to me. So the lyrics and the production, everything around the song is pretty good. I just hate the vocals. I just hate how uh, uh, bland it eventually becomes the sound. Opening is interesting. That's how that's how every Counting Crow song is. It kind of starts out interesting, interestingly, and then it progressively gets worse, worse and worse. Uh, the longer you listen to it, I think. So there you go. And then we have Raining in Baltimore, which was also a pretty good listen, I would say. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like Sullivan Street, but it's kind of more a beat into the chorus and eventually near the ending. So this is definitely a better track. It definitely got better, I would say. So definitely a plus in my book. It's basically a bit more a beat Sullivan Street. But, and with not whiny vocals, so I definitely enjoy that. And then we got a murder of one, which is basically kind of like the uh, the trilogy, the trilogy ender of you know not the sucky songs of the album. Uh, this track is definitely uh, my favorite, probably. It's five minutes and forty four seconds. It's yeah, it's actually the longest song of the album. It's kind of progressive in some ways, you know, not really because it's kind of like a pop rock band, but. Uh, the song is kind of 
progressive in some places, I would say. Yeah, definitely a interesting hit. It was the last single of the album. It is catchy. The vocals aren't god awful. Uh, it's pretty upbeat in the chorus, and it's pretty chill and haunting in the ending, leaving a, uh, a pretty you know cool note, a pretty kind of like open ending note to the album, which I like. But overall, you know, whenever I listened to this whole album, I was I was like, yeah, probably I'm never gonna listen to this album again. I was just not impressed. The vocals bugged the shit out of me. Um, yeah, production wise, it's kind of okay, not really interesting. The instruments are diverse. I would say, I would say there's some guitar there. There's you know some uh, folk rock elements on here. There's some poppy stuff going on, there's some piano here and there. So this band is definitely diverse. This band is talented. Musically this band is pretty good. I just hate the vocals. I just can't stand the, the vocals by Adam Duritz. I believe that's the singer. Um, no, he, oh, he, well, yeah. Adam Duritz is the, vo uh, the vocalist, the, uh, the pianist and uh, uh, he plays harmonica too, so definitely a talented band. Uh, I, I can't fault them for that. Actually, the whole band does vocals, and they still sound really bad. So there you go. <laughs> um, yeah, so overall, I was not very impressed by this uh, album by Counting kind of Crows. So I will probably never listen to another Counting kind of Crows album again. But I did give it a chance, and I did think that this album was okay. But this is like their highest rated album, and it's only gonna go downhill from here. So. Yeah, I will probably never visit this band again. Uh, I will give this band, or yeah, this band in general, I will give this album a 6 out of 10. There were some really good songs on this album, especially uh, towards the latter end. And the first one was kind of catchy, with Round Hair being a decent opener, and Mr. Jones being, of course, the big hit by the band. But I was not very impressed by the singles. They were, you know, they were, of course, eye openers. The public really discovered Counting Crows because of these singles but I was just not impressed I just wasn't so um, yeah yeah let, let me know your um, rating about the Counting Crows or this album in uh, particular yeah uh, let, let me know what you think about the bands I am not a huge fan of the bands but I did give it a chance and I just thought it was okay so there you go um, yeah let me know in the comments down below um, what you think about it I believe I already said that but uh, yeah, just let me know in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. Let me know what you want to see in an upcoming video, in you know another video. Um, yeah, let me know in the in the comments, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.